Hi everyone, my name is Swati. Thank you for coming back to my channel. So today we have a topic, when we multiply two numbers, what do we actually do? So let us take one example. Suppose we want to multiply 28 into 26. So let us write down 28 into 26. Okay. So here you can see that normally in our school, we have learned how to multiply two numbers. So you will normally do the method which you have learned in the school which is 28 into 26 like this okay before doing this let us solve this uh, multiplication using a different way okay and that is the actual way when we multiply two numbers that is the actual thing we always do but we did not know about this so let us uh, do that method so 28 into 26 so if i consider this as length suppose and this value as breadth or width so basically what we are doing, we are doing length into breadth. What is length into breadth? We all know that length into breadth is nothing but we have studied that it is an area of a rectangle, right? So basically when we multiply two numbers, we are doing nothing but we are calculating the area of a rectangle. So since here we have a term rectangle, so let us first draw a rectangle here. So suppose we have a rectangle okay whose length is given 28 and breadth is given 26 normally we take the higher value as length and the smaller value as breadth okay so let us take this as length so length is given 28 right so 28 i can also write down as 20 plus 8 so let us write down this as 20 this till this part approximately and this as 8 Okay, and breadth or width we have is 26. So let us write down 26 as 20 and 6. Right, so 20 till here approximately and 6 this part. Right, now I'll draw another rectangle. Okay, so I'll just draw a line over here. So let us draw that. Right, so we have another rectangle like this. Here. Okay, I think that's fine now. Yeah. So you can see that this much is 20. Okay, the length is 20 for this smaller rectangle, and breadth is 20 for the smaller rectangle again. Right? So we have how many rectangles here? Of course, we have to join these lines also. So let us join these lines uh, with different colors. Okay. So we have another rectangle which is uh, okay so okay let me erase this yeah okay so we have to draw a line from here to here okay this is another rectangle and from here to here also let us draw that by another color okay so we have here another rectangle so approximately, you know, you can just think that it is going from here, okay? So we have how many rectangles here? We have four rectangles. Suppose this is the first rectangle, this is the second rectangle, this is the third one, and this one is the fourth one. So we have total of four rectangles. And we know that when we are multiplying two numbers, we are just calculating the area, right? So if I calculate the area of the first rectangle, we all know that area of a rectangle is length into breadth. So for the first rectangle, clearly the length is 20 and width is 20. So for the first one, what is the area? It's 20 into 20, which is 400, right? For the second rectangle, we have the length is, how much is the length? We have the length 8, right? And width is 20 again because this part is 20. So of course, this part will also be 20. So in this case, we have, suppose, length is 20 and uh, width is 8. So in this case, again, area of rectangle will be 20 into 8, which is 160. For the third one, again, we'll use the same way, length into breadth. So for the third rectangle, length is 20 and width is 6. So 20 into 6 is 120. And for the fourth rectangle, we have, again, area as length into breadth. And in this case, length is, suppose, 8 and breadth is 6. So 8 into 6 is 48. Now, what are we doing? We are calculating the area of this rectangle, right? So, the full, the bigger rectangle. 
so for that we need to add all these areas for second third and fourth so we, we will add this so what is this 0 0 0 8 which is 8 this will become 6 plus 4 10 plus 2 12 2 carry 1 4 5 6 and 7 so what we are getting we are getting 728 now let us see whether we are getting 728 by using normal ca uh, multiplication or not so this will be 6 into 8 48 8 carry 4 6 into 2 12 12 plus 4 is 16 this is how we used to do it in school 8 into 2 is 16 6 carry 1 2 into 2 4 plus 1 5 so clearly this will become 8 6 plus 6 is 12 5 plus 1 6 and carry 1 is 7 can you see we are getting the same answer 728 and this is also 728 so basically with the help of this video i just wanted to let you know that when you multiply two numbers you are doing nothing but you are calculating the area of rectangle okay so i hope you understood this video thank you so much if you are liking my video please do subscribe to my channel and thank you so much